A few years ago when I was living in Singapore, I stumbled across a very interesting fruit. It was an apple flavored banana simply titled the Banapple. And if you want to see that video, go check out my YouTube channel. It's up over there. It was interesting. But the reason I bring that up is because I found another product in line with the banana theme. And that product is banana flavored cheese. Yep, you heard that right. This is supposedly cheese infused with banana. As you can see here, it says cheese dessert series banana, meaning there could be more flavors than just banana. So without further ado, let's crank this one open and give it a try. So once you open up the packaging, there are six of these banana flavored cheese and we're gonna try one. Let's get this open. Okay, straight after opening it, I can definitely smell the banana. It is very, very strong. I was not expecting that. Down the hatch. Oh God. Okay, I really don't know how to feel about this one. So straight off, it doesn't taste like cheese at all. It essentially tastes very much like a banana sweet. That's the best way I can describe this. I mean, it has the texture of those sort of cream cheese or those baby bell cheese or happy cow cheese, but it is very sweet. It is almost candy-like and it's almost like I'm eating a banana gummy, but just very, very soft and chewy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, I really don't like this one. Oh, I'm so sorry, but that one was not to say vile, but it is difficult to, to get down your throat. Uh, yeah, safe to say this is definitely an interesting experience in my mouth. I don't know what's going on and I don't want to know more about what's going on. So yes, that was banana flavored cheese. Didn't taste anything like cheese whatsoever, but did taste very much like banana and very sweet banana at that. As I said before, what do I know? I'm a gaijin in Japan. Maybe there are people out there that enjoy things like this, but unfortunately, I am not one of them. If you are in Japan, go and find these. They're at the Lawson's over here if you want to try them for yourself. And hey, who knows? You might like it. And if you're watching this and you've tried this, do let me know your thoughts as well. It's still in the tip of my tongue. So yes, that concludes another installment of Weird Things Nick Has Eaten in Japan. I hope you've been enjoying them. More will be coming your way soon. And until next time, I will see you all later.